Hello everyone, Flying Dutchy here and welcome back to Germany as the tutorial for complete beginners. It's already part 15 of this uh, series and we are almost going to war because we are waiting for our boats to be de deployed. Um, and it will be done in September or October. October uh, 1939, we will have all our ships that we need for our battle fleet. And then I think we are going to go for uh, Danzig or War, this one. To just go historically. Uh, what you can do in your own run is demand Slovenia and then the fate of Yugoslavia. Maybe you can get this for free as well, before you go to war. And then you can also go um, take the second uh, award, the uh, Ljubljana, that's the, I think the, cap the capital of Slovenia. And then the fate of Greece, and then maybe you can get this all for free. Um, do they are, are they guaranteed? Yugoslavia is not guaranteed at all. And Greece is also not, not guaranteed, so there is a chance you could get it. Uh, we only know that Poland is guaranteed by, uh, by the United Kingdom. And with that all of the allies. Now let's unpause the, the game here. It has been a while that I've been recording. We are training our troops. I remember that this will be the pop-up for the transport uh, planes. Let's cancel that out. How are my resources doing? Uh, we could take one more tungsten, so we don't have any penalties. Oh yeah, and we are also training our air forces, I think. Or are we not training? Yes, we are. It just takes a bit of time before they get their uh, experience. Uh, okay, that is all done, and we have set up everything. What I didn't do yet is uh, look at uh, some traits we can assign to anything we have in the field. So for the East Theater, these... Uh, five battle uh, plans here. Our field marshal can get uh, some extra traits here. It can get reinforcement rate and recovery rate. Let's go for recovery. I don't know which one is better, but at least it has the trait now. What about the west uh, front? Yeah, this this field marshal for the west front against France is also having uh, a bonus. It has the uh, defense doctrine, so more entrenchment. Uh, can I see the entrenchment? Oh no, they are training. I can't see it right now. Uh, let's also do the recovery rate here. And the garrisons don't have anything. The tanks do not have a uh, commander, because that is because of the uh, tanks in China. Uh, we do have a trade here. Oh yeah, that was the guerrilla fighter. Really not useful for this guy. Um, did we have any plans to do here? Yeah, we wanted to expand our range a bit over here. I think, yeah, we got the supply up here, so we should be able to win over here. And we have a continuous, um, yeah, stuff over here. And uh, I think we want to try to get the capital now, because we do have the supplies. So I will tell them a little bit to attack, maybe I extend my range a bit. And when they have done that, I will go over here. And we'll try to get Nanjing out of here. That would be perfect. Okay, our manpower is very low. The next thing we need to spend our political power on is on uh, the manpower, the con extensive conscription. We will get 2.5% more conscription, which is a lot. And there we go. One of our ships has uh, finished. So we are getting more uh, dockyards available. Now, we do know that we have our battle fleet ready soon, so we don't have to make any more planes, uh, ships for that. Uh, what we also should do is make more submarines, I think. So I will get my... That's sort of my submarines, my submarine twos. And pop a lot of these out. This also means we are spending less um, tungsten and stuff, I think. Yeah, but no, we are still using all the tungsten, so we don't have to do anything there. And is that a carrier that is finished? Yes, so this is our first carrier. And let's see where it is on the map. It is over here. The CV carrier something. You can see that it is having 100 airplanes on the carrier. Uh, you can click on this thing. Oh, and then it opens the uh, the strategic air map mode, and you can see here that I have 50 naval bombers and 50 fighters on the carrier over here, and that is exactly what I need. They are all in um, f um, task forces of 10. And you don't have to tell them to do anything, I think. 
Let me see, if I put my carrier over here and I click on my... Looks nice, right, by the way. And I click on this. Okay, here I can tell them to do air superiority and stuff. I don't know if I have to do this when we have a naval battle. But these are my naval bombers. They need to do naval strike. They need to do it at normal operations. And these fighters... I guess can do air superiority as well. I'm not sure if this is also going to stay... Um, when they are in the fleet. So let's take a look. Uh, let's put this carrier... In the fleet. Uh, we could also train it actually. Let's uh, first train this, uh, this boat. Let's put it back in the uh, in the port. Do they still have their... Uh, no, when you go in the port they lose their uh, their their plan. Uh, so we go to the carrier. We'll put the carrier in the top bar. Yes. And we will shift click to train. And let's get this carrier some experience. Uh, as long as we're not going to war, we can train. When we go to war, we can't do this anymore. What is this? The Japanese volunteers is having something they're not assigned to. Really? Oh, they made two different plans, apparently. Interesting. Let's remove that one. Free military factories. The only thing that I need to make is tanks. We are making 15 and 5 and 5. I think we need to make 20 5 and 5 compared to our template. Let's take a look at it one more time. We need to make 4 to 1. And you are costing 600 and you are costing also 600. And you as well? Yes. So we need 4 to 1 factories to get this going. So we need 20 to 5. So what I'm going to click now is this scale up to 5 view. And now this is 5 factories. So we're going to add 5 more over here. We're going to make 20, 5 and 5. That is a 4 to 1 ratio. Uh, you can also do it times 10. Then one factory will be, oh, uh, one spot will be 10, fac uh, 10 factories. But let's do this to 5. Uh, to make it look a little bit easier on the, on the eyes there. I think, yeah, I think we are going to try it now. Um, let's see. If we can get this railway, we will have all the supplies for a while. There are no supplies over here, as you can see. There are no railways come going this way. That makes uh, attacking China sometimes a bit of a problem. But let's try to get Nanjing over here. Uh, we should have supplies on this side of the river. Let's see if he can do this. Yes, we have resistance to occupation again. Uh, you click, can click on the resistance map mode. And we can see that the resistance target is now a 30. The compliance is going up. Which means that uh, the higher the compliance, the less uprising you get. And the less manpower and guns you need to stop the resistance. Uh, we have 13% average compliance. So, we are slowly getting more stuff out of Czechoslovakia. And we get a little bit of their resources as well. And we did make our template ready for this, right? Yeah, we made it almost as big as possible with the military police, which gives the best suppression value. For your support equipment. Again, we have three dockyards, so we built another uh, battleship. And you can see right now that uh, we are making submarines fa fairly quickly. So I don't want to put more here. Uh, we also don't need more convoys, I think. Well, let's put one factory here. Uh, let's first finish the carrier. And then we need to make a plan, really. What we're going to do next. We could make even more battleships. Uh, but I think I'm going to make some patrol fleets. And yeah, we have to do it right now. We have extra extra dockyard, so that's the next thing you can do. When you have your submarines and your battle fleet ready, you can also make some patrol fleets. And patrol fleets need to be good at scouting. 
and they need to be fast so they can get out of the way quickly enough. Now, of course the destroyer... Oh. I don't want to do it that way. Uh, can I... Create variants? No. How can I check this thing out? I want to see the stats of this thing. But I can't see it. I just need to hover over it, apparently. Really? No. Okay, apparently I cannot open the uh, fleet window. Oh wait, I can, but then I need to go here. Here, and then take a look at my 19... 34 destroy and click here. Okay, that is a bit annoying. Uh, we have a light cruiser. Is that the Leipzig cruiser that I can make? Leipzig class, yes. Okay, so we will open up that one as well. Battle fleets. Then the light cruiser, the Leipzig. Let's open up that one as well. Take a look at the stats here. Uh, the speed is very important. They are both fairly quickly. They have a speed of 32. The range is uh, decent enough as well. Uh, they don't have to fight these ships, they just need to scout planes really. And so the attack things don't really matter. But what we do matter is surface detection. Ability to detect surface vessels and sub detection. So you have a 25 detection and a 10 sub detection. So they are decent at finding uh, submarines and uh, finding uh, service uh, uh, fleets like battle fleets and other patrol fleets. So uh, making a combination of two of these and one and maybe one of this could be a good thing to do. I mean, you are a bit quicker, but your sub detection is very low. So what I think I'm going to do is make more uh, level 2 destroyers and some uh, light cruisers and make small task forces with them. And then I'm going to make a couple of patrol ships. So we're going to do the light cruiser and we're going to make some destroyers. Uh, we don't have to make is that quickly but on the other hand we will get uh, the battleship and the carrier soon so it doesn't really matter and you are a normal destroyer as well you need to go to the main fleet so let's train you shift click this thing there we go and with these patrol fleets I will try to get more intel on the sea tiles so that we can maybe find other other fleets and uh, kill them with the battleships are you in place? You are. Where are you guys? Oh, you're getting attacked so you can't run. Please run. Okay, now they're coming. Let's see, I think I can just go. And there we go, that is something that happens as well. The Soviet Union declares war on Finland <coughs> for the, this uh, state here. Uh, it's called the Winter War and um, yeah, Stalin did this I think because Leningrad is too close to uh, the Finnish border. Uh, at this point I think Lenin is, uh, I mean Stalin is going uh, crazy already so yeah, even more world tension. They also annexed Estonia or Estonia said okay we will join don't attack us and they will do mostly with all the other Baltic states they will do the same. I cannot see their focuses but um, I think that is going to happen. And with the attack of, on Finland the end of the League of Nations is there as well. Um, the League of Nations failed in its attempt to preserve peace. Josef Stalin openly mocked the League's inability to do anything. RIP. Completely a rip. Can we take the capital? Finland rejects the Soviet demands. Yeah, they uh, they they uh, send an ultimatum to Finland and F uh, Finland said no. So there is the war going on right now. Uh, we do have a small problem. 
since we have no manpower, we cannot deploy our ships, I think. So we cannot deploy this battleship, I think. That is a small problem. So what I have to do is cancel some of my things out of there. I think I have no other option. We're still training our troops. Yeah, you can see it's going down immediately. Some things need to be refilled. But I need to keep making boats. I think that's very important. We have another boat here. This is another carrier. This is our second carrier. And this one is also having... Yeah. We are just in time with the production of our planes. This is timed very nicely. Uh, we need only four more naval bombers. And then we have uh, 50 naval bombers and 50 uh, carrier fighters. On this carrier as well. I think we can see it over here. Yeah, we need uh, uh, four more carrier bombers. We do have the carrier fighters. We have 21 in the reserve. So that was uh, planned out fantastic, actually. I'm very happy how that, how that went. That was pretty good. Now, can we take the capital of Nanjing? We need to make this front smaller. What is this? We need tungsten again. Really? Uh, I need to cancel a couple of these production uh, things because we have no manpower. We need manpower to get the, uh, our stuff in the field. So let's try to attack this uh, city here. We do have some good breakthrough. They cannot uh, really pierce me. We have air superiority, so we get a bonus. Or they get a penalty, I think. Yeah, for their defense. Yeah, that sound is this resistance uh, thing. That happens the whole time. Because, uh, yeah, we have it occupied. What are we building? Oh yeah, we are still building tons of oil, and I think that is a fantastic idea. Because we need more oil. Now they keep uh, replenishing this thing here. Uh, this is a good thing to have, the logistics. We have the logistics <coughs> on a lot of our units, so we are using less supplies and fuel. But that is really good. Because we are using that template in most of our uh, divisions. The uh, logistics. That is really good. Okay, and then we need a new research. More things are coming up. It's October 1939. Uh, I still think I want more of these things. Uh, we need all of these three at some point. Thanks, we don't have to. We need to, we need to get these things still. Ooh, we are actually really lacking behind with these, uh, these stacks here. Now, we don't really need the anti-air, I think. Not very important, but the anti-tank makes our uh, medium tank destroyers getting more heart attack and more piercing. So that would be really good. And I think we will get even more heart attack with the next one. And this is 1940, that is coming up. So we need to do this one to make our heart guns stronger. Engineering company is done, so we get more entrenchment. Perfect. Uh, about the light flame tanks, that is a bug. You cannot make flame tanks in the base game. Unfortunately. Because they are really good. But then you need uh, DLCs for it. Is there anything that I really need? I need to do this one when it's time. I need to get all the new planes. I need to get all the new boats. What is the difference between this boat and this one? Where is your... Oh, sub detection. There it is. 10. Okay, it will be really hard to find submarines. I, th I don't think we can get higher sub detection than 10. 
Oh, and these are big fleets, so they have no uh, no bonus. It's going to be really hard to get sub detection. Sub detection will only be ten, unfortunately. But if you take a look at the surface detection, you have forty. That is really good. I want to make these uh, destroyers for my scouts. They are really good at it. Are we going to do that now? Huh. Well, maybe we do. You know what? Let's go for it. And then I will... Yeah, see? They cannot deploy the submarine because we have no manpower. Um, I am going to... Should we stop the production of these ones? Um, actually, no. Yes, I will stop this. And we are going to make... A super cheap destroyer one. And these destroyers are going to be used as convoy escorts. What is your... Uh Speed. Where is your speed? 31? Uh, you are a little bit cheaper. You know what? Let's just... I made a mistake. I want to keep making these, so we lost a bit of progress. Uh, these Sersturers will be used for uh, multiple things. But when we can make the Destroyer 3, we are going to make both of them. Uh, but now we need manpower, so we can put things in the field. Cancel that one. Maybe we will uh, deploy some submarines. Yeah, we should have clicked the manpower button way earlier, by the way. That was a bit of a mistake. Oh well. Taking the, the city is very hard, of course. We have the recon boost, so we have a bit more reconnaissance. Uh, the maintenance is good, and the field hospitals is good, and the signal company is also good. Yeah, we are reaching the point where we need a lot of things now. 1940 is, is really the date where you want to... Uh, Get all kinds of things. Well, it is not 1940 yet, so I will pick the field hospital. Upgrade my field hospitals. There's our army innovations too. Which is really good, because it, it gives us a uh, cost reduction for land doctrines. And we get a research boost. What is the next focus going to be? Are we going to war? We don't really have manpower, so I think we're gonna wait a little bit longer. Hmm, or should I just go for it? You know what? I think we're gonna go for it. Are we trained? Yeah, we will be trained when the focus is done. Let's just go with Danzig or War. It is time. Danzig was German. Danzig has remained German and Danzig shall be German from now on. If Poland does not cede the territory, we must prepare the German people for the inevitable war. Danzig and the surrounding lands will return to Germany. Yeah, they want to have this, uh, this over here so they could connect all the lands. Bad Germany. It is time. And that also means that uh, we will go to war soon. So let's take a look at our doctrines. Now we do have the bonus again. We have two 50% bonuses. And we do have our Heinz Guderian who gives minus 15%. And that makes the next upgrade only 35 instead of 100. And now you need to make a choice. Do you want to go to mobile infantry or blitzkrieg? Now mobile infantry, as you can see here, it gives recovery rate, it gives speed to uh, motorized stuff and then you can get a bit of organization which is really good so they can fight longer and then the mechanized offense gives organization to all the motorized and mechanized infantry but when we go to blitzkrieg we can see that our tanks are going to get 20 percent more breakthrough and tree organization that is huge! That is 20% more defense when you are on the attack. So we are going to go this route. Because the next one gives the tanks even more organization and recovery rate. 
And here we will also get organization for our motorized infantry and mechanized infantry. So we want to get all these three here. Uh, let's go with this. So the tanks get uh, a lot more breakthrough in organization. Then we do this one. The tanks get even more organization and recovery rate. And now I will wait a bit because we don't have any more bonuses. I don't think we will get more bonuses, but let's see. Now when I go to my tanks over here, the maximum organization is already 31. So that is pretty good actually. For my light tanks it is 33. And their breakthrough is now already 174. What about my new tanks? 280. Okay, that is really good. Come on, tanks! Okay, we, we took it. Uh, can we now stack wipe this? We can. Okay, we do have Nanjing. But we are helping Japan out a little bit over here. But yeah, we have the supply issues again. If you want to take more land, where where should we go? They need to do a naval landing here in Guangzhou. Because there are, there are no supply ups. To reach this one, we need to go through the mountains. We can't do that with our tanks. There are no supply ups over there. And that makes the war here so hard to win. And it takes a really long time as well. Okay, let's take a look at our boats. Are we making... Okay, there is our... Uh, carrier. We take a carrier. We put it here because it's going to join the battle fleet. And shift click to train it. My Bismarck is going there as well. Shift click and train. And these are my submarines. Now you can see now that we have 20 out of 20 submarines, right? We had 18, but since I enabled the task force compositor. The new submarines were joined to these task forces. So what I can do now is leave it like this. I can also say I want more per task force. And I can also make make more task forces. I think I'm going to make... Uh, going to split this. And go to 5 here and to 5 here. Then we have 5 task forces. I think that is... Uh, Plenty. You can see that the reserves are now gone. They are going to join these ones. So the next three submarines that are produced will go to this task force automatically. Are you trained? You are trained. Let's join the main battle fleet. This is a good fleet by the way. I really like it. Okay, most of the armies are now almost trained. They are level 3. Which will help. Uh, the Soviet Union will take Finland down. Uh, let's give you a attack order just to take a bit more land. Because when the war starts, my volunteers will uh, come home. Skill 6, you are a, a very good commander now. What I could have done is uh, used some other commanders to give them a level up. From 4 to 5, because that is easier. And there we go, there's a white piece between Finland and the Soviet Union. And the Soviet Union took this state here. So that was a very quick war. And we have no manpower. Oh my god, I just cancelled the tank. No, I did not, I think. No, 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 I did not. Yeah, I really need to click that manpower button. Should have clicked it earlier. We're gonna get the Mayfo bills due. We are paying a lot for it now. Well, 0.8. And when we go to war, we lose the uh, modifier of the Mayfo bills. That's something that will happen as well. If my garrisons are still training. You guys are trained, looking good. We have excavation tree, so we get even more resources. We could wait until 1940, because it is all almost uh, 1940. Is there anything I just need to do? I, I want to get the maintenance and the logistics, but I don't think we have time for it.
I'm going to wait until December. And then I will click uh, December 29th. And then I will go and take my uh, researchers. How much oil do I make? 2.9 thousand. Is my air force is all trained? Did I not train them? Did I not tell them to train? I thought I did, but I did not. Hmm. See if we can still do this. And we don't care about these guys. It's gonna cost us some oil. You can see their oil going down like crazy. We have better radars. Uh, let's wait until uh, December. Late December. Yeah, we're gonna lose our oil very quickly because our air force is gonna use it. We need so much more oil. We could also trade oil itself with someone. We could trade with the Netherlands, apparently. That will be a land trade route and that way we can get uh, oil a, a lot quicker because for each oil you get way more than a refinery so let's get two factories importing oil from the Netherlands that sounds like a great idea well Japan is having a huge pie a part of the pie over here they're doing a great job And we are actually already taking everything. Holy shit. Well, let's just continue for now. Just keep going. And take as many stuff from China. Yeah, there is no more supply over here. Yeah, we are reaching the supply uh, issues again. There's just nothing you can do about it, really. You need to take Wuhan. You need to take this. Three military factories, more tanks. More tanks, only more tanks. Uh, we are going to do... Well, let's start with the medium tanks. And then let's do a couple over there. Their focus will be also almost done. We don't have to attack immediately. But soonish. I need to add more medium tanks like this. We have one more garrison coming out there as well. We can always click the manpower button. Let's not forget about that. That's very important. There we go. We can click the manpower button. This will come in over time. We don't get it uh, uh, instantly. It takes time to uh, recruit the people. But they are coming in at least. But that is something. Um, the next thing that I wanted to do. What was it? I don't remember. Oh yeah. Can we make more attacking uh, units? Nah. We have that much artillery. of these tanks already as well. Nah, I think we are somewhat ready for this. Can I tell my garrisons area of defense to guard the whole coastline? And the victory points. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So they will now spread around on all of the coastal provinces. Including the ports. And I forgot the tax. Okay, that was... Uh, we lost a bit of progress here. Uh, 1940, we will go with the compute computing machine, so we get plus 8% research. And you... You could start making mechanized infantry. The difference between motorized and mechanized infantry is that they have a bit more hardness. Way more, actually. So your tank uh, divisions could uh, profit from this. They have a little bit more breakthrough. Speed goes down, though. But they also have a bit of armor. Um, do they have other organization boosts? No, not really. They use the same manpower. They have a little bit more heart attack. 
and the breakthrough is a bit better. So you would really want these things on your on your uh, template instead of your trucks at some point. So we could research this, it's very quickly. But we also want to get this one because our soft our artillery will be 10% better. And all my self-propelled artillery units as well. So I think that is a very important tech to get. How are the boats doing? Submarines, you are another destroyer. Don't think we need more destroyers in the, the fleet here. I think I said I want 32 light ships, right? Yeah, I have 8 ca capital ships and then I need 32 light ships. I have 31 destroyers and light cruisers, so we need one more. And that one is coming already over here. Yeah, so we are going to make a new fleet. This destroyer... Uh, right click over here. Oh, but then it put the submarines there as well, so I will shift click these two out. Create a new task for us. And put the submarines back to the reserves. Now 25 submarines ready. These are gonna be the Krabbies. And the Krabbies, where's my Krabby symbol? I always use the Krabbies. Also make them yellow. To do... Convoy Escort. And Convoy Escort, which is this one. This will protect your trade routes from enemy submarines. Destroyers are the only vessels that have depth charges and they can kill submarines. Um, when your convoys are getting attacked, they send out a signal, Hey, we are getting harassed, we need help. And then for all your units that are on convoy escort, those submarines will go and protect your, your trade routes. Now, luckily for us, we don't have any any trade routes going uh, over sea, I think. We only have a bit of supply lines going to East Prussia over here. Um, so, but later in the game we will need them. And what I will do is tell these guys to... Submarine, oh, go away. Uh, to get 20 in here. So when, when we make more, they will auto automatically go to this fleet. Um... And I think I don't need to do anything else. I can give them automatic split off. Because... Uh, they don't have to be uh, together for the whole time. If 10 of the ships getting out of here to need repairs, that is fine. Um, and you need a commander as well. Doesn't really matter which one. Let's just get uh, Saalwechter. That's fine. Can you get some trades? These are my Krabbies, and we are going to keep making those destroyers, like this. Now the light cruiser, I, I actually don't think we need it. Because we are going to make my better destroyers, right? So I'm going to cancel these. I don't need the light uh, cruisers. Just need to make a bit more submarines and the uh, destroyers as my crabbies, and then we have when we have destroyer free, we're gonna get a patrolling fleet. Because they have better detection uh, possibilities. Okay, the Danzigal War happens uh, now. Poland refuses German ultimatum. Considering the demand, it seemed inevitable. Poland would be forced to see Danzig to Germany and a police. Whatever, would be sent to Berlin to negotiate for the terms. German and Polish forces are prepared for war and reports are already coming in of clashes on the border. Once again, there is war in Europe. Does it mean that we go to war instantly? Not sure. We need to pick a new focus. You'd get uh, these things. We can get our first air innovations for some doctorates uh, bonuses. We can demand Slovenia. Let's demand Slovenia. Maybe Yugoslavia give it to us. And I think let's stop training all our troops. Uh, we are done training, really. 
Are we going to war instantly now? I think we will. So we need to uh, prepare now. I'm going to send my uh, submarines out. So submarines will do convoy raiding. They are going to these deep sea tiles. And I will now add a fifth one because we have five task forces. Right click on the Norwegian sea as well. So all the convoys that are going through here, troop transportation, trade goods, supply routes, we are going to uh, raid them with our submarines. And you are getting repaired. Okay, we need to watch out a bit with our fleet here. But I think we are going to war now. Oh no, we get only a war goal. Okay. We can now go to war. It expires on the 12th of March, so we don't have to do it instantly. We can wait until our fleet is repaired. And then we can go to war with uh, with Poland. Uh, I think I will wait for it. Our manpower is coming up again, so we can make more uh, troops again. Let's queue that in. Let's do eight at the same time. Uh, we are still making the tanks. We are making one light division tank to get that going. Oh, you can see that our manpower is already down. Really? Is it so much manpower, these things? Holy shit. Okay. I think in the next episode we declare war. I will end it here. Uh, we have very high stability and war support, so we can just go to war with no, uh, no big deal. And I think it is time that we are going to do this. Uh, we are almost as ready as we can be. Uh, the tanks have done their job. Japan should now hold the line here and win the war. And then the tanks will be going back to Germany. They will join the five medium tanks over here. At the Polish border. And then we will go to war. So I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye bye.